Okay guys, uh, now I'm going to do a little video about the evolution of my miniature car collecting. So as a kid I probably had count hundreds of uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars and most of them ended up buried in the backyard. This one I managed to keep. Uh, this I traded from a friend back when we were like seven and I managed to keep that one. And then, uh, you know, I went off to college and concentrated on other things like getting a job and all that stuff. But after I did get a job, I'd always touch back on uh, collecting some cars and stuff. So, you know, these are pretty old now. I just bought those to see what happened in the industry. And, well, you know, they're a lot lighter. They're just a lot, uh, they're not as substantial as old Hot Wheels and old uh, Matchbox cars. But then there's been some movements and, you know, the Jada movement of having giant customized uh, vehicles, giant rims and stuff. Sadly, they're not the same scale. But uh, I kept two of those. I did have like 40 or 50 of them, but I sold them off, you know. Got to evolve with your collection, of course. Uh, so then after the 64 scales, you know, I also had a 1 8 scale Porsche from Poacher. I still have a Rolls Royce from them, but it's a model kit, and I haven't finished it because it has like over 2,000 parts. I'll get around to it when I'm older, I guess. Uh, anyways. I got to 187 because I thought, well, if I'm going to collect some vehicles, I want to collect a lot of them. So HO scale slash 187 uh, had probably maybe 130 of these things, but I sold most of those off be because even at that scale, uh, you can't, you run out of room. But I was lucky, I decided to have all those 130 or so, I kept these. Uh, they're just so detailed, or they're my favorite cars. You know, uh, so Herpa is a leader. They're a German brand, and they have hundreds. Of, they probably have thousands of molds out there. Historically, they have a great website. But anyways, uh, a company called Spark Model came along, and these are the these ones in this these cases are all Spark models. I'll probably do a different video showing more detail on these. Uh, but essentially, they took one forty third scale details and put them into a 187 scale car so photo etch parts and stuff like that and uh, extremely fine digital printing so just quickly if you look at that Porsche there there's actually an antenna on it and again look at my finger that's a small car anyways I got away from that because I started collecting action figures more and uh, but I wanted to see now after maybe 30 years of of uh, casually collecting vehicles, what's going on in 164 again? So, uh, let's see here. Of recent, I purchased a lot of uh, Kyoshos. Uh, mainly Kyoshos because I think the value is there. You get great detail. You know, they're not super expensive like TLV. Tomika, this is a very expensive vehicle. Granted, it is awesome, but is it worth six or seven of these Kyoshos? Kyoshos, I don't think it is. You know, I want to even compare. This is a TLV Ferrari. This is a Kyosho Ferrari. I'll probably do another video. You know, going over these in more detail with the little spinning thing and whatnot. But you know, Kyosho TLV. Honestly, I'd spend the money on Kyosho, but I will continue to get some TLVs because, uh, you know, if it's a different car. So, uh, this is one of the other cars that I managed to keep from a kid, and this thing is from Tomika, and this mold is from 1977. This is my favorite car, probably of all time. I mean, it's just so radical. And actually, I have the Kyosho version of this on order. And I'll maybe do a video of comparing these two because they're supposed to be the same scale. Okay, anyways. So, Mini GT, you know, is another great brand. That Pagani back there, Koenigsegg, those are Mini GTs. But the majority right now are still Kyoshos. But, uh, you know, I haven't been in this uh, game for very long only like a month so and also I'm gonna run out of room so I'm gonna be very more selective 
this time around and try to keep it under maybe 200 cars in the end so anyways maybe some other videos will come about this uh i guess quickly i'll just talk about tommy tommy tomika who makes such great expensive 164 scale cars they have a scale for n scale which is one one sixty and they have fantastic detail too so i think i'll probably do a different video of that because uh, not many people collect these uh model railroad scales compared to say matchbox and hot wheel scales right so i'll try to help out the community with a different video there and then if i'm really bored with this whole kobe situation maybe i'll get into the one two hundred scale uh military airplanes by erpa and hogan mostly and uh one four hundred scale we're getting into, into some really small scales here there's a lot of great companies here jc wings erpa again uh dragon wings made some old mil military ones like these military ones on the commercial side of uh airline aviation phoenix model is probably one of the, the best ones the detailed printing on this is the best I've ever seen in any toy. People think that detailed printing on cars is nice, but there's a Star Alliance logo on this airplane, and you can actually read it with a magnifying glass. This is my finger, to give you an idea. And my finger would actually be... Oh, well, let's see. Okay. So... I don't think it'll be possible on my phone to show you the detail of that uh, Star Alliance logo. Maybe. What do you know? Anyways, it's a pretty, it's the spectacular printing on these models by Phoenix. So, uh, these little vehicles are also 1 400 scale. And uh, some are pre painted, you can find online. JC Wings makes some. I think Herpa makes them. Uh, I forget the other names. Uh, but the, this whole tray is all 3D printed. So these things you can get from uh, Shapeways. Shapeways pretty much has everything on their online community, community to buy. This is some sort of street sweeper. But ooh, I'll have to get that later before the cat eats it. A little Star Trek shuttles, things from Tron construction equipment. I guess I'll show you the other ones. So this is my next phase of vehicles, 1-400 scale, because in one uh, footprint of a matchbox car, I could probably put, build an entire scene in 1-400 scale. These are cranes, construction, all that stuff. The planes again. This plane, I think is from JC, JC Wings and the canopy opens. It's got a little storage in there. Uh, randomly, these are also 1160 scale. I used to have a hundred or so of these world tank museums, but again, you get bored, you sell off the collection, move on to other things. This is an awesome uh, Thunderbird set from Rebel Tech, so if you could try to find that. These are some of those uh, Gashapons, little plastic things. They, uh, boy, I forget who makes them though. You'd think they'd put brands on these uh, labels. But anyways, I love Star Wars. Oh, I guess that is one car I kept. It's a 143rd scale McLaren. Uh, RC vehicles. I've had many RC vehicles. 16 scale tanks. 10 scale drift cars is really fun. Uh, 10 scale RC crawlers is even more fun than drifting. Regular road cars are pretty boring, I think. But uh, I don't know, for some reason I kept this mainly because it's pretty high, well detailed for something so small that has all-wheel drive. This is a Kyosho, by the way. This thing actually has all-wheel drive in it, and it's a uh, 128 scale. All right, so take care, guys.